Hey everybody, so I just want to make a quick video discussing how I test capacitors. So I pulled all the capacitors out of this amplifier and the capacitors were bad. Uh, these two, they tested just fine, but all the rest of them were leaky and shorted. I was testing them the other day on my uh, B&K801 capacitor analyst and the coax cable broke. <laughs> It's going to break on the inside of it, so I, I gotta, I'm going to have to run a new uh, coax line through it. That'll be a repair for a future video, but in the meantime, I was going to show you the other method that I have for testing capacitors, and it involves a bench power supply, the capacitor itself, a current sensing resistor here, in this case I got a 10k ohm resistor, and then on the other end of the room here I have my oscilloscope. So, how it's all connected is I've got the power supply connecting to the positive of the capacitor, and then the negative goes to one end of the current sensing resistor. And then I hook, hook my scope up to that same end as the negative is on. And then I ground the scope and the power supply to the other end of that resistor. Okay, so it's all connected up now, so... I'm going to go ahead and I'll set this power supply to 30 volts, that's the maximum it can do. And then we'll check on the scope, and then we'll see. So what we should see is when I first turn the power supply up, I should see this trace go up and then drop back down to, to the zero point pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and we'll turn the power on. There it is, and then you see it falling back down. However, it did not go down to the zero point. Yeah, because that's the zero point, and it, that, that trace is just a little bit above it. So now that it's off and the capacitor's discharge, it's going to show zero volts. But um, I'm going to zoom in on it, and then I'll turn the power supply back up again. And you'll see it is just above the zero volt line. Yeah, so that is a zero volt line right there, and I've got on the one volt per division scale, so there's one volt of leakage current across that 10k ohm resistor. So the capacitor is leaky. Um, now this is a this capacitor is rated for about 450 volts, so I I wouldn't really trust that capacitor in uh, in my amplifier circuit. But pretty much all the capacitors were leaky around this voltage, you know, between half a volt to one volt. So I'm going to have to use a new batch of capacitors when I put this amplifier together. But that, this is just one method that I used to test capacitors, and so I thought I would just share that with you.